From Fox 55 Sports, this is The Locker Room. say good evening everyone welcome inside the locker room my name's Justin Prince thanks so much for joining me tonight well it's the week before Christmas and although it's getting cold things are starting to heat up here in the Summit City conference races yeah getting going on both the boys and girls sides of things all across the area and it's early so really just one conference tilt under some of their belts but Southside Concordia and Northrop and Homestead all find themselves at the top of the SAC standings tonight. A big one, as one of those teams for sure will fall below the rest of the pack. Southside taking on Northrop. Let's get you out to Mark Sheff Gymnasium. Both teams 1-0 in SAC play coming into today. Pick it up here in the second half. Archers up. Jalen Jackson, though, gets it in the paint. Muscles his way up, but no good. Dalman Alexander there, though, for the stick back. Next time down, Southside's turn off the Jackson miss. Derek Roop takes it up the floor, kicks it out to Omarion Washington. He pulls up for two of his 21, puts the Archers up 14. Northrop, though, trying to get back in this thing. Jaden Schmenk, no, but Jackson right there for the board and the bucket. Southside, though, gets it back. Ashton Johnson, 24 points. Here he is with a dime to Washington under the bucket. That's an easy lay-in. Southside up 14 again later on. Archers go right back to it. Lamontrell Manning to Jaden Morris. Nice little float game there. It's a 16-point lead. Southside, they kept the momentum going. Morris again, a fake and another quick floater. Keeps his team on top. Northrop trying to answer. Jackson drives, muscles this one in, but the Bruins just couldn't get things done at home tonight. Southside. Goes on to win a tight one, 72-64. They're now 2-0 in SAC play. Out of Homestead, Spartans taking on Bishop Lures. Close game all through the first half in this one. Spartans strike first after a Lures miss. Homestead pushes. Nice find from Andrew Leeper to Grady Swing in the corner, who buries it. Sparty goes on top. Couple plays later, it's Fletcher Lawyer. This kid is just so special, folks. Can it hit from anywhere on the court? Gets in his bag, that's a little jumper, but Lures up to the challenge early. Cadell Wallace, nice find. Jaden Hill, he's hits from three, but Homestead would strike back in a big way. Good defense here leads to the fast break. Look ahead, pass back to a wide open lawyer. Yeah, that's never good for the defense. He finishes with a game high 33 points. Spartans only up two at, half, at the end of the first, but they turn things on from there. They go on to win by 20, 70, 50. Homestead now 2-0 in SAC play as well. Next stop comes at the cage. Concordia Lutheran hosting Bishop Dwinger. This one back and forth all night. Pick it up first quarter. Owen Shively going to step into the short jumper here. Puts the Saints on top by four. Later on in the quarter, Shively, you're going to see him no from downtown, but Bo Jackway right there to clean the offensive glass. Gets the stick back. It's a six-point St. lead, but the other way, back come the Cadets. Ajani Washington, big night from him. Gets to the cup. Hoop, arm, we're all tied up. Next trip down. Ajani driving the lane, takes the contact, still gets the shot to drop, puts Concordia out in front. But hey, my man saved his best for last tonight. Three seconds left in the game, gets the inbounds. That's the launch from half court. Hey, he's got in the gym range, folks. 
the sophomore ice in his veins. Game high 20 points. Concordia, their winners 53-50 tonight. Over at Baihe Arena, Snyder visiting Northside. Both teams looking for win number two on the season. Pick things up late in the third in this one. Legends in control, but Panthers trying to claw their way back. Carson Jenkins pull up three. Snyder down 15 after three. Fourth quarter, Panthers forced a turnover and out in transition. It's Jenkins again. As my former colleague Peter Hood would say, respect the specs. 23 points for Carson. Snyder within 13, but they never got any closer, and they can thank Tay Tay Johnson for that. Tay, the tip home off the Jordan Green miss later on. Another offensive board for Tay. Muscles this one back up and in. Game high, 30 points, 21 rebounds, and a don't forget the dimes, folks. He had seven assists, just three shy of a triple-double. This one to Jordan Green for the dunk. Green added 18. Northside runs away with this one, 80-61. Legends improved to two and five. Snyder falls to one and one. All right, we move on out to Carroll area. Second game of the doubleheader tonight out at Charger Fieldhouse. Wayne visiting the Chargers. They try for three, they get the miss, but Marquette Lee gets the board down the floor for the layup. Later on, Lee again, this time inside to Zaire Sullivan, who kicks it out to Monty Smith from deep. Wayne takes an early 5-3 lead. Later on, hey, they just keep on going. Lee, pass picked by Andrew Sinish, takes it to the cup for two. Later on, Lee, again, doing it for himself. Finds the lane, hits this one. This game, tight all night long. Wayne comes out. Excuse me, Carroll comes out and gets the overtime victory. 55-49, your final. Moving out to the NECC now. 2A number one Central Noble visiting rival West Noble tonight. Long outlet right off the opening tip here goes out to Connor Asijin. Yeah, young man was in his bag. First bucket of the game, it's 3-0 CN. But West Noble, yeah, they, they came to play tonight. Austin Kripe, no, but check out the effort. Steals in the backcourt. Yeah, he gets the bucket. West Noble down one. Braden Barth later on. You're going to see him get inside off the miss, get the board and the stick back. Ties the game up, but CN just has a lot of dudes in a lot of places. Connor Lemon, three ball right here. Central Noble hangs on to win a tight one, 46-41. They're now 5-0 on the year. All right, we move our way back here. Closer to town, Leo back home, looking to bounce back from their first loss, hosting Huntington North for some NE8 action. Lions had the size advantage and they used it early. That was Cademan Bontrager with the block. So uh, what do the Vikings do if they can't get inside, you may ask? Well, how about just shoot from downtown? That seems to work. That was Zach Hubbard, gets the nice little bounce. Huntington North up five early. Fast break, gonna give them a chance to stretch the lead, but Bontrager, Again, with the defense, comes up with the stuff, pins it on the backboard. He would contribute on the offensive end as well. You're gonna see him draw the contact, get the bucket. Bontrager finishes with nine points. Jackson McGee adds 13. Lions double up Huntington North, 46, 23. All right, we head out to Woodburn. Woodland hosting Adams Central tonight for some ACAC play. Both teams kept it close to the first quarter in the second. Braden Smith on the fast break converts the layup. Gives Woodland a little bit of a spark there. Not long after, though, Alex Miller going to follow it up with a shot from deep. Sinks the three ball. Warriors take a nine-point lead. But AC not done fighting. Big Ethan pulling with a big shot from the top of the key. Cuts the lead down to six. Big man's got some range. And then you're going to see Ethan Brown, friend of the show, with a steal, leads to a layup. Gives the Jets a little bit of momentum heading into the halftime, but this one would go to OT as well. Adam Central pulls this one out tonight on the road. 58, 55 the final. Final boy stop comes out of Blackhawk. 2A number three Braves taking on Canterbury. And I got there with under two minutes to go in a 30 plus point game. So we get to see the backups get a little bit of run. John Jones, welcome to the locker room, young fella. The junior with the final bucket of the game. Braves blow out Canterbury 80-42. They're now 
4-0 on the season. Staying out at Blackhawks, same matchup on the girls' side. 1A number 10, Lady Braves hosting the Lady Cavs. I dig the attire by the coaching staff from Blackhawk tonight. Canterbury apparently did not early on. Hanging tight in the first, Lena Rielsen gets the bucket inside. Cavs go up a point, but it was all Blackhawk from there. Back the other way, Lily Helmuth gets the kind roll here for her second triple of the first quarter. Puts the Braves on top, and that's where they'd stay. Later on, Haley Klein gonna clean up the miss, gets the short jumper to drop. She had 17 points on the night. Passes Allison Kaufman's program all-time scoring record of 1,431 points. So congrats to Miss Klein. Braves go up five, and then you're going to see Aubrey Swain with a couple boards and a bucket. Blackhawk takes an eight-point lead after one. They cruise 82-40 the final. Back out to Noble County we go. Central Noble looking to move to 4-1 and one in NECC play, visiting West Noble. Chargers gave the Cougs everything they could handle in this one. Late first half, Jasmine Smith knocks down the three ball. West Noble up a point at half. Second half, though, all about the Lady Cougs. Madison Vice, you're going to see her get to the rack, put CN up 13 right there. Later on, a little bit closer, Megan Keeble, you're going to see her finish inside as the Cougs come all the way back to take this one, 55-47. They're now 5-1 in NECC play, 9-4 overall. All right, to the SAC and back out to Homestead we go. Spartans at home hosting Bishop Lures. Take this one up, first possession for Sparty. Allie Stevens, the future Nebraska Omaha sharpshooter, cashes in from three. She finishes with 16. Homestead up early. Lures right back, though. Anna Parent. Top of the key, nice step back. Gets her open from deep. Nice move, better jumper, but it's all Homestead from there. Ayana Patterson, the steal on one end, takes it coast to coast for the pretty lay-in. Couple plays later, it's Patterson again on the drop-off. Easy layup, 30 points, 14 rebounds for the future UConn Husky. Sparty hangs on to win, yeah, pretty easily, 72-21. Back at Baihe Arena, 4A number 12, Snyder Girls visiting Northside, all Panthers all night long. Late first half, Gabriella Barnes hits from downtown. Snyder takes a 50-15 lead heading into the half. They kept things going in the second half on the fast break. Janaea Donahue dishes off to Jaya Lovett for the bucket. She had 11 later on. Lovett playing a little bit of defense here. Gets the steal near half court. She's going to find Jordan Poole for the transition layup. Poole with 12. Makes it a 39-point game, and it wasn't over from there. Another steal. This time, it's Destiny Craig with the pilfer. Takes it back all the way for the pair. She had 10. Snyder cruises 62-20. All right, back out to Charger Fieldhouse. Carroll hosting Wayne in the first game of that doubleheader tonight. Chargers got up early, pick it up in the second quarter. Natalie Linnemeyer tries for three, but no. Jersey Paul right there for the board and the putback. Later on, Taylor Fordyce to uh, Lexi Castator for three. Takes some contact, but she sinks it. Chargers go up 37-12 and a half. On to the third, Jasmine Anderson. The kick out to Brooke Pocock. She misses, but Anderson gets it right back. She puts it home, and then later on, Taylor Gibbs, the great save to Ann Vi, to Victor, Victoria Straley for the layup. Wayne just trying to get anything, something going. Anaya Hill moves it around. Amelia Diaz gets it home. Floater, though, unfortunately not enough. Carroll dominates this one, 65-24. Back over to Mark Chef Gymnasium now, Northrup hosting Southside in the first game of that doubleheader. Olivia Smith out to Tara Easley. She nails the triple. Northrop back the other way, trying to answer Sanaya Jackson inside to Alexa Robinson. Give her the bucket plus one. Or give, give her the one-on-one -on -one bucket, excuse me, layup. And yeah, this one uh, was tight early on. Northrop on the fast break. Jasia Scott to Amanda Thatcher. That's an easy, easy transition bucket later on. Thatcher. The pilfer, little give and go action on the other end. South side trying to act, answer Olivia Smith, the Eastern Michigan signee, calls her own number. Step back, long two, ties things at six, but Northrop would pull away in this one. Bruins go on to win 76 54.
Final stop comes back at the cage. Concordia girls also hosting Bishop Dwanger. Pick this one up, second half. Saints down six, but here they come. On the break, Maddie Schenkel. Sweet lefty stroke from downtown. Pulls them within three. Next time down at Schenkel. Other wings, same result. Barry's the three. She had 15. We're all square. Other end, Concordia would answer. Lauren Goodman hits from downtown. She had 15 herself. Puts the Cadets back in front. This one tight the rest of the way. One point game with time winding down. Lexi Linder gets a shot off as time expires. It's no good, but she's fouled. So she'd get two free throws to win the game. Hits the first. And then, how about the second? There it is. Game winner. Saints hang on to win a tight one tonight. 58 57, your final. All right, and it's time for our play of the night, and we're going to take you right back to the cage. A Johnny Washington. How do you do, young fella? 20 points. That half-court game winner caps it off for him. The sophomore. Super tonight. Concordia gets a big win over Dwanger at home. 53-50. Your final from the cage. Wow.